pole. And this has the everything barrel. So I'll show you how I kind of do that now because I kind of changed my way of doing it. So over here we have the farming area. Uh, this area got a huge change a bunch of times where it got shrunk down to like something like this kind of thing where it was like a three by three block area. Now I kind of did this, which I kind of like now. Now it's a little bit bigger and everything looks kind of nice. And here is where you can kind of AFK and you can wait and then here's the Z Z farming hoe and then you can kind of just keep here just wait and then if you're like back you go okay jump out i would normally have a jump boost thing here and then you can kind of just do your farming and then put it back and then you can kind of just go back if somebody steals the hose in there don't worry there's like five i think yeah there's five on display here and then with the potatoes you can also use the smoker here to kind of cook them up there's smokers over here as well but they're too far away kind of thing. So just in case you don't want to travel all the way over there, you can kind of just do it in that room. So it's not really that big of a deal. And that's like everything in this pretty much room area thing. There's no command blocks in here, no nothing. Uh, but if we go over here, we, as I showed off, this is a give all achievements and this is all command recipes or all recipes. And this one gives you TNT. I needed this during the 1.16 version, so I might get rid of it, but yeah. And of course, we also have the explosion thing. I'm not going to do it because I kind of need that platform, and I don't want to destroy it. So, yeah. I kind of just don't want to get rid of that. And of course, we have a secret... No, we don't... Oh, no, not anymore. Okay, so I originally had a secret over there. Uh, I think I showed it off long time ago but just in case I didn't this one should have it no question about that yeah so one of the things I did a lot of changes is I changed every chest into a barrel and changed every shulker box into a barrel as well so we had these little side rooms over here that kind of had like a little bit of everything in here kind of thing and you can kind of right click here and you can get back into the farm and you can right click over here and you get to a different area then you can kind of right click back and then this had a middle area which does all this I have this again and I'll show it off in a second but yeah I originally had two small rooms over there now I don't think I can remake it yeah I don't think I can remake it all right, so that's everything in the front area for both ends. Now here comes the cool part. There is actually a back area specifically in this area. We have to go and right click this sign. We get to the middle. This gives you, this gives me the flight duration of 10 firework rocket. And this gives you the potions that were originally in those two side rooms. So here's a healing potion, a lingering potion that gives you a ton of regeneration. And I think it lingers for about two minutes, I think. Or something like that, I think. I don't know. Uh, here's the Behemoth Potion. This is pretty much what I use during my entire thing. This is pretty much what it does. It's pretty much a potion that lasts indefinitely. So it doesn't really matter. And even if it does fade, I have, like, the sign specifically for it. And here's the Buff Boy Potion. This is not actually meant to be there. But in one version, we kind of needed a bunch of health boosts, so we kind of just added that in. Uh, then over here, I have... Oh, this is one of the Varco barrels. I think this is the extra shulkers. Yeah. These are the shulkers that were originally in that room kind of thing. And here is Nuke. Uh, Nuke does a lot of dangerous stuff. Uh, yeah, and an experimental arrow is this, but as an arrow. <laughs> So yeah, it lasts indefinitely. So pretty much it's supposed to prevent people from trying to attack me. So I'm going to go do it, use it right now. This is pretty much what it does. And this is just insane. Oh man, getting sick again. There we go. And I already have uh, two barrels filled with the arrows. They are in a secret area. So I'll show that off. 
So there is actually a sign underneath these banners right here that actually leads you to an area above. Now behind here is literally that side room that's literally like or the entrance area uh, to the downstairs area. So this is just an extra sort of room here specifically filled with TNT and wither stuff. Uh, this has a bunch of random shenanigans in here. This gives you pumpkin pie. Yum, pumpkin pie. Uh, this gives you uh, all the banners that are in here. This is actually out of date uh, because I haven't been changing anything. It also has a debug stick in here because why not? Uh, this was originally every button you would need to activate every command block that was in Revabase, I believe. Or Reva, no, not Revabase, Revacraft. But I kind of just stopped kind of changing that over and over again. Uh, this teleports you into the room, of course. So I'm going to go and skip that for the other side because it's identical. But we're going to go and show off the other sign that's actually in here. Not this one, but this one right here. This one actually teleports you into a small little room over here. And this one, I believe, is... Yeah, all my all my uh, other worlds that I kind of have. This is actually out of date, too, because I actually changed this. And then this is ore generator. So this will generate a... 5x5, five five, I think, uh, like room of ore kind of thing. And this is just in case Minecraft ever added any other ore. And this generates from coal all the way over to ancient debris. I haven't added copper in here yet because, of course, I haven't had the time to do it. And if you right-click the sign, you teleport right over here. Now, if we right-click this and go to this side, we kind of meet into the same kind of room, just on the opposite area. Uh both ones have sticks this is just i think food yeah this is that's food and same idea tnt and of course whatever uh same idea with that uh anything else oh yeah this so this sign of course is actually a little bit different so this just has a bunch of random junk that i kind of just ended up picking up like a bunch of random flowers that i picked up uh, these are not filled up like they are in the other one, so excuse those ones pretty much. Uh, where are they? Ah, here's my bees from the server from 1.15, and here's a full beehive kind of thing that I made in creative mode just to sell. Uh, and here's a bunch of random items that I picked up. Uh, this is actually going to change, because I'm going to have... Uh, a big difference because I'm going to change all of the ones that I currently have with all of the ones that I've had from every other world. So that's pretty much it. No, I'm kidding. There's actually something else as well that is on top of it. So this actually has a command block, I think. No, it doesn't have it anymore. So these actually spawn in all of my other creations from the left and or to the left and to the right. From every other like sort of creation like it'll spawn in uh, like these kind of bases especially I think I also have it as spawning as this as well uh, Razacraft, Revacraft and Razabase I think and all this other sort of stuff it will all or sort of the airships kind of thing they will all be spawned from one of these sides And you go to this barrel right here, and you kind of see which ones are there. I have a sort of a thing uh, in added into the front that just tells you which side they go on. So the left one, so you add it to here, and you kind of just click on load, and then it loads it immediately pressed up against this. So pretty much this is just like a little docking thing, so you just go walk up, and you just walk up onto the ship. And now we're going to the final area. So this actually received a big change. Uh, well, it all happened off screen, but it, it received a big change. So originally I had it so though you had to use two different signs to get to the, this area. Now I changed it to one, but it's a really long way anyway. So if you right click this sign, you actually get teleported to this room right here. Now this room is right down so right here i think is the bedroom and right here is literally the back of the ship so if we click on this scanning local entities sign it'll actually put glowing on every entity that's there and if i click this that 
command block that I originally made to kill raid enemies and just any other normal enemies kind of thing, like zombies, skeletons, and all that stuff. This actually does kill it. This d just adds everything to uh, adds going to everything but the player. And if we right click this before, it would teleport you right back to the room almost as if you never left. But I changed it because I have an extra area right underneath. So if we actually go into game mode, I keep clicking extra thing right here. You'll notice though that I'm in the design, I have a undercarriage area specifically just to house energy and just also to kind of keep these sort of like thrusters like sort of still attached to the actual building and in here is literally right where we got teleported to so this is kind of to add the actual like functionality to it i'd put uh, like if there was a way you can actually make real thrusters i'd of course try and make sure i can actually do it but hey this is minecraft i don't really care that much for it and if we right click the sign we get end crystals very cool uh, that was a long time ago made. That's, I think, a 1.14 sign right there. Uh, over here, we have a sign right here. Or we have a barrel right here with all this stuff. This is the old... Oh, these are old because they have the old enchantment names kind of thing. But yeah, the Pickaxe of Doom. Uh, and over here, we have the Behemoth stuff. Same idea. They're old because they don't have like the gray or anything like that in them. Very nice. Uh, this was my old walking around stuff. This is what I kept in my inventory when I was walking around. And I think this was just alternate equipment. I think... Yeah, here's travel train. Here's the normal thing. So if we right-click this, and we right-click that, uh, we'll get into the everything storage. So all of this is what was originally in that upper area from 1.13, I think, or 1.14, something like that. And this area kind of got bugged a little bit, where it kind of duplicate. No, it duplicated one thing. Yeah, because this was for the symmetry kind of thing. But one of these areas got glitched, I think, where it had two barrels that had the same contents in it. And I fixed it with the server one, but it's still kind of bugged on this one. So this has all of the left storage ones from above there. So in that uh, before the farm area. Uh, that's what this has, and this has the right area. Of course, out of date, because of course these are in chests, but I kind of just never really did bother in, in sort of just improving it anyway. Uh, I would probably end up changing them into shulkers now, so inside the inventory in here there would be shulkers. Over here is just a bunch of scaffolding that I made through... Well, I made through, I think, 1.15? When did scaffolding come out? I think it was 1.15 or something like that. Is it 1.15 1.14? That's when I kind of made it. Because we, uh, we, I found a jungle on that version. Maybe it was 1.14. Because I found bamboo, and that's exactly what... It, or no, I bought bamboo from my friend, and then that's how I kind of just made all the scaffolding. Uh, over here was just, like, different, like, sort of... Um, like, special dungeon maps, and then that me and my friend played, so I kind of just kept, like, some keepsakes from that. I'll play some of them. I don't remember all of them, but I have this one, I think, so I can kind of do that. And here's a skyblock one. Uh, this one actually inspired me to make books with uh, commands, because that's what this has right here. It has, I think, something with... Yeah, settings has something like that, so... That kind of inspired me to make something like that. Uh, here's the original Servercraft inventory. This is kind of what I kept on my person at all times. It was in my ender chest for the longest time, too. Uh, here's just extra logs kind of thing from the uh, secret rooms in the old one. Uh, this is the TNT spawner. This will actually spawn a TNT in this kind of configuration. So 11 by 9, I think 5 is the height. So that's pretty much how big it was. Very nice. Uh, that's nothing. Uh, this is just random flower stuff. Uh, chanted golden apples, golden carrots, and golden apples. Yeah, there might be some empty ones. Yeah. I didn't quite fill it up all the way. So this is... Oh, this is the wallet from uh, Varicle. And here's my beginner pack if I ever... If somebody else joined and they wanted my assistance. I have that. And same idea with this. Uh, this was just all random stuff. Which these might actually leave. Because I actually have a couple barrels up there that actually have uh, some of the horse armor and saddles. 
Uh, and over here is just all the extra sort of things that I got from Voracle. Uh, oh, yes, this I can get rid of most of this stuff because I already have a, another spot for it. And here's the duplication that I talked about where it got messed up. Uh, this one is blocks from Voracle. Uh, this is just random junk from Varicle. This is the arrow barrel that I was talking about. And this was just random cool stuff, I think. Yeah, from other worlds that I found. Uh, a bunch of materials. Arrows again. And a bunch of extra maps. Okay. So, here's the whole idea for that room. So that undercarriage area, I'm going to call it the undercarriage area. Uh, the only way to actually get there was if you right-click the sign that was here, and it would teleport you right in that little chamber area right there. And if you teleport to that sign, it would teleport you right here. Now, that was the original idea specifically for it. Until I decided to kind of change my mind. There, yeah, there is nothing in there. Okay, is there something here, though? No, but I could add extra command blocks up there. Can I? Oh, I can. Hmm. The wheels are turning again. 